The medical specialty pathology is often a mystery to medical students, the average clinician and the general public. If you have watched too much Dr. G or Silent Witness, if you want to become a pathologist as a medical student or if you are just interested in getting to know more about pathology, then this video can be interesting for you. As a medical student, I did an internship on anatomical pathology for a month and I vlogged a part of my experience. First of all, my name is Kim de Tollenaere. I graduated as a medical doctor this year at the University of Brussels and I make videos of my life as a medical student slash doctor and other medical related topics. If this sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. You can also check out my blog, Instagram or other social media channels. Now let's get to the point and find out what pathology is all about. Many rumors surround this field because of the lack of exposure. Personally, I didn't know much about it before I did my internship there. I've also seen few videos on YouTube about pathology, so I thought it would be interesting to make a video about it. Especially since most people only know about pathology from TV shows like Dr. G, Silent Witness, With Summer Murders, Bones and CSI. These TV shows often show the pathologist as a person who wears a headlamp while he pokes at something bloody but indistinct in a dark room. Honestly speaking, they show a very unrealistic and one-sided version of this profession. Pathologists don't work in a dark room, but in a clear and bright lab. Results aren't ready in 5 minutes and most pathologists work a 9 to 5 job instead of getting called up at 2 am. The reality is, a dead person will still be there the next day. It is not true at all that pathologists only perform autopsies. This couldn't be further from the truth. So uh, pathology um, it's, it's, it's very well known from the TV and the movies uh, about CSI and that sort of things. But unfortunately for you, uh, pathology is just the opposite of that, uh, surely in daily practice. We are not dealing that much with, with dead people, not in a cr crime scene, but more in a hospital scene. And, and what we are doing every day is working with, let's say, uh, living patients. But um, let's say the patients don't, do, do not come to our uh, office. We are working uh, at distance uh, on behalf of other doctors asking our help for diagnosing their diseases. In short, pathology is the study of disease. If a patient undergoes an operation to cut out a piece of tissue, it automatically ends up with the pathologist. For example, a woman who has a mastectomy, her breast tissue goes to the pathologist for further analysis. If a patient comes to a dermatologist for a consultation with a suspicious skin spot, then a biopsy is done and it is sent to pathology to see whether this is a normal nevus or whether they are dealing with a skin cancer. There are so many similar examples, but 80% of the pathologist's work revolves around diagnosing cancer and helping to determine an appropriate therapy. The tissue ends up at the pathologist and the intention is to analyze a section of it under the microscope. I'm going to explain the whole process from tissue to diagnosis under the microscope. Patiënten materiaal van een operatie of van de polykliniek dat uitgesneden wordt komt dan bij ons terecht. Wordt gefixeerd en alles zo doen. En de bedoeling is dat wij dit hier tot een koepen gaan maken. Dus uiteindelijk moeten wij dat microscopisch kunnen beoordelen. Dus dat is een heel stappenplan. Dat is eigenlijk een heel artisanaal werk. Waar veel handenarbeid bij komt kijken. The piece of tissue is examined, weighed and small pieces are taken to determine the disease in the tissue so that an accurate diagnosis can be made. Those small pieces are put in cassettes. This is first chemically processed so that the tissue can easily be cut into extremely fine pieces and then viewed under the microscope. To cut it into a very fine piece, we will transform the piece of tissue into candle wax. The magic happens in this machine. A chemical reaction occurs in which the piece of tissue is dehydrated. This process takes about one night and that is why the result takes at least a day. So, we have a paraffine block, as we noemen. it. You can see here a nice zitten. Waar we net hebben bekeken. En dat is kaasvet wat erin zit. En hier kun je dan heel erg dunne schilletjes van snijden. Die dan uiteindelijk op een glazen koepen uh, worden gelegd. Die schilletjes zijn nog dunner dan papier. Hè? Maar dat laat ons toe om er doorheen te kunnen kijken onder een lichtmicroscoop. Hier zie je een tissue section. Met een dried piece of skin on top met tissue. Het heeft no color intensity yet. So we will have to color it. To do that, we dissolve the candle wax. 
which is a hydrophobic environment, so we have to go back to a hydrophilic environment. It is immersed for several minutes. Coloring is done by means of a coloring robot. Et voilà, you see the final result here. A section that we can view under the microscope. This section can eventually be scanned and we can view it online. Here we have a patient with suspected breast cancer. The eventual diagnosis is a ductal carcinoma in situ, which is the earliest form of breast cancer. Through further research, a more targeted therapy can be determined for this type of cancer using immunohistochemical research. We will not get into that discussion because it will be a bit too complicated for this video. The biopsies of each patient are kept for 30 years to enable any further testing, for example, molecular testing. During my rotation as a medical student, I also assisted some autopsies. An autopsy is a post-mortem examination to determine the cause of death. How did I feel about this? In the beginning, it was pretty shocking. I mean, it's certainly not for everyone, but to me, it was certainly an interesting experience. In the end, it is not so much different than the anatomy dissections we had earlier in our study. And it is certainly a good way to practice anatomy as a medical student. This was a brief picture of what the medical specialty is all about. Anatomical pathology goes much further than this. For example, I didn't show the immunohistochemical lab and I also didn't show the molecular pathology lab. But I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I hope you have learned something and gained a clearer picture of this medical specialty. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. If you like this video, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. See you soon. Bye.